All right, and we're back with some more Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 3. And today we're going to start off by fighting Flame Man and the candles that I don't know what they do, but I'm assuming they heal. And that doesn't tell me they heal. He gets, he's invincible with that, isn't he? Yeah, that's, that's what that tells me. Oh, hello. What is that? Speed up! And another fucking green one! Really? How many times are those gonna come... Is the green one gonna come back? You know, you could shoot him, game. It's kind of the reason why I keep tapping A. Uh, let's see... Okay, so green makes him invincible. Yellow or orange does the little... Makes the little flames go in circles around me, and red's healing, and that's... Uh, this isn't obnoxious. This isn't annoying as hell already. No, let's... No! I want you to come this way! Shit. Hey, God, this is annoying. Don't know how to feel about this. Is This is really obnoxious already. I can't really move with those... Uh, I think I need to just try and get rid of the red one and see if I can get, like, another orange one to show up. Oh, yeah, that would actually work because I have that shield so I can keep him from recovering. And every time he goes to attack me, all I have to do is hit back and B and I... Ref and I guard it, so that's actually not a bad idea. And of course I have to worry about that shit. Get him, roll. Now I remember why I don't like you. Oh god. Let's see. This will make it a lot uh, of course. There's another fucking great Really? Why'd you back up, game? I don't know why you did that game, but I most certainly did not hit back. Okay, so if I can keep up here, I'll actually be pretty good. And of course, you know, as long as he doesn't keep getting green over here. It was actually a really good setup for me. Ooh, that would kill you quickly, but I don't want to, you know, just... Oh, hello. Alright, no, that just... That'd give you two areas to move between, so that might be a little annoying. Um... Wow, that was really late. I mean, that was... That was stupid late. Wow, I'm already really low on chips. Come on, baby. Yeah, this is actually really working for me. I wonder, will that set it off? Yes, it will. Okay, well that was, that was a little annoying, but much as soon as you get that um area grabbed you're fine. Rah rah <laughs> You won't fall yet? What endurance 
Flame Man and I won't be snuffed out so easily. Flame Man! Mega Man's worn out. Burn him with your fire breath. If we get hit by this fire breath now, we'll be in trouble. Evasive maneuvers, Mega Man! Burn him to cinders, Mega Man! Hey, Capcom, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Flame Man there. Burn him to cinders, Flame Man, or are you telling Mega Man to burn Flame Man to cinders? I love you, Capcom. I really do. It, it's the little things like this that you always... Really, they're not little. They're always really noticeable things, but... <laughs> Yo! I peel... I feel the power of the strong. I think I know who you're supposed to be. Flame Man, where are you looking? This is your chance. Hurry and finish off Mega Man. Rah, rah. What's wrong, Flame Man? Th this feeling. It's that pressure I've been sensing ever since coming into this area. <gasps> Excuse me. Land, something's coming. Yep, it's him. Oh, ho, ho. let us battle. You who emits the power of the strong. You want to fight us, Flame Man? Take care of this guy first. Oh uh, yeah, I know. Ra 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 ra. Stand aside, you who are weak. Yep, there went Flame Man. Th this can't be happening. I handcrafted Flame Man, customizing him myself, and he's gone? Just like that? What are you? I'll have to make a strategic retreat. Blazes. How can a Navi possess this much power? The peon is gone. Time now for battle. I sense an intense aura that could deflect anything. Lan, here he comes. And don't worry, we can't win this fight, so just blop blop blop. <laughs> We're gonna win this. Yeah. I can't remember if we have to actually... I can't remember if we have to last a certain amount of turns or what, but... Ow. Or if we can just lose. Ah! We lost. Okay, I was about to say, I didn't have to survive this shit, did I? I had much higher expectations. I must have made a miscalculation. Time now for deletion. At last I found you, base! Or as I used to call him as a kid, Bass. How is it you know my name? Who are you? Does the Alpha Rebellion ring any bells? Alpha Rebellion? You were sent from Scilab. So there's still a human after me. Base, I'm going to delete you! Indeed, I must delete you! Navi slave to the humans. Do you think you can defeat me? In order to fight you, I of course did not come unprepared. Gather to me, power of darkness! Whoa! Thundercats! Ho! Dark Aura! Base, you done an Ori- Oh, you don an- I was like, what? You don an Aura? I was like, what the fuck? Base, you don an Aura yourself, so you must be aware. The defensive strength of this Dark Aura! far surpasses that of the life aura. An aura of darkness. How impudent. So long as I'm protected by this aura, I could survive even if the entire cyber world was annihilated. In short, you cannot harm me. Hmm, interesting. I shall enjoy testing out your theory. Be my guest. Earth break! Ugh. 
Even wearing the aura, the impact was so powerful. You've managed to withstand my earth break. But will you survive my next attack? Uh-oh. Base, do you hear me? This is Wily. I have just gathered all four Tetra Codes. Not that feeble-minded idiot again. <laughs> I have matters to attend. Our confrontation shall have to be pros eh, postponed. Hear me, Operator. I will have my revenge on the human race. What? The Dark Aura! His power was far more than I had anticipated. If he had hit me again, I might have been... I never suspected Wily and Base would be consorting with each other. He also mentioned the Tetra Codes. He can't be planning on awakening that beast, Alpha. I thought this boy could face Base, but the gap in their power was far more than expected. Base. Wily. Hmm. Get up, Mega Man! Mega Man, are you alright? Uh, uh. Are you okay? Mega Man! After you were defeated, I suddenly lost contact. It looks like someone saved me. Hey, Dad! We have to get back to Scilab! I like how they're playing really calming music again. It's like you would think they're trying to play the kind of alerted music, like, hurry, rush the fuck to Scilab! <gasps> oh my gosh, that hurt. Coming to save you, Dad. Everything's back to normal, apparently. Yes. Dad, where are you? Dad! Dad, are you alright? Yes. I think so. Dr. Akari, what are you doing here? Oh, well the computer sustained damage during the incident. I need to inspect... What are you talking about? You're the one who needs to be inspected. Being trapped in a room at nearly 200 degrees here? I'll check on the system. You get over to the hospital. Oh, thank you. Uh-oh, Dad collapsed! Someone call a doctor! Dr. Akari collapsed! Hurry! Oh no, the tr is the tree system going to go ape shit again? Doctor, will Dad be okay? If he hadn't arrived here so quickly, he might not have been. But he'll live. What he needs now is complete rest. I can't believe someone would attack Scilab. What an age. Oh, my ear itches. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Ooh. It was all my fault. The Scilab attack, Dad's injury, everything! I thought I was so great being called the hero of ACDC. I helped match. I helped the World 3! Lynn. I like how I keep doing that. Oh, hey, Mom. Lan, you should get home. I'll watch after Dad. I don't think I can come home tonight. <clears throat> so be sure to lock up. Oh, okay. You'll stay and watch after Dad, but then you just walk off. Lan, why don't we go home? I'm gonna guess Mom's on the first floor or something? Let's see, where are you, Mom? She's not going to be at the house, is she? This is going to be really stupid if she says, Go home, I'll watch after Dad, but she's back at the house. No, oh, whatever. Can't sweat the little things. Get in there. And, okay, she's not home. I was about to say, Mom, you're being silly. Go home. I mean, go to the hospital. Finally, I have all of the Tetra Codes. All I have to do now is obtain Alpha's data, and the Net Society is over. Hehehe. <laughs> delete, delete, delete!
Drill men, come forward, drill men. You summoned me, Lord Wily. Yes, I'm entrusting the Tetra Codes to you. Use your abilities to bring me Alpha. Failure would not be tolerated. Thanks to Mr. Match, Scilab's security is weakened. This will be easier for me than drilling through plywood. <laughs> I crafted you well, my Navi of Destruction. Overconfidence can be costly, however. Stay vigilant. Yes, my lord. I will not fail you. Alpha will be yours. Go then, drill men, for the sake of anarchy. Delete! <laughs> my plan is perfect, if I do say so myself. Even if drill men shall fail, that other one can always delete Alpha's data. Oh, deliver Alpha's data to me. <laughs> Enjoy yourself while you can, Net Society. The time for my revenge has come. DELETE! <laughs> my throat! I wonder if Lan's okay. He's been absent for three days. His father is badly injured. He almost died. That's enough to shake up anyone. Yai, do you want to go to Lan's after school today? Yeah, two cute girls like us paying a visit. Land sure to cheer up. Huh, let me get a drink really quick. Right, it's settled then. I got two bitches coming to my house tonight. There's gonna be some fun. Land, how about we go to school tomorrow? I don't wanna go. Everyone's probably worried about you. <clears throat> Lan, we know you're in there. May Lou and I came to cheer you up. See, what did I tell you? Let's let them in. I don't want to see anyone. Come on, Lan. They came because they care about you. You've been through a lot, Lan. How's your father doing, Lan? He's a lot better, but Mom called and said he needs rest. Oh, and your mother? She hasn't left Dad's side. Hey, Lan, come back to school. Everyone's worried about you. They say you solved that World 3 incident, you know. It's hard to celebrate without the heroine class. What is it, Lan? Nah, I'm just gonna read Yai. I'm, like, doing the same voice. Are you feeling sick? Go home, both of you! What's wrong, Lan? Was it something we said? Just leave me alone. Go home. Hey, we came here because we were worried about you. <clears throat> Just forget about me. I'm fine. Fine, then. Be that way. Come on, Meilu. Let's go. Uh, okay. Damn, Lan, what are you doing? You're scaring the bitches off. Don't you think that was a little too much, Lan? I mean... I know how you feel, but they only came because they care. I know, I know! But I'm no hero after what I've done. How am I supposed to show my face at school? How long are you going to sulk? What is it? What's done is done. All you can do is accept it and make amends. It isn't fair for you to take it out on your friends. That must be them again. Let's go down and apologize. Oh, now we're gonna get up? Hey guys, I'm sorry I was such a dick to you. Uh. I'm sorry for what I said! Huh. Whatever you did, you're talking to the wrong person. Huh? Chad, what are you doing here? I'm here on official business. No, don't tell me you're here to arrest me! What are you talking about? I'm here to pass on a request from the officials. What? A request for me from the officials? Do you know what the Tetra Codes are? Tetra Codes... <clears throat> Aren't they what the World 3 is after? I've heard of them, but never saw any. There are four codes in all. They're the key to a door. A door? A door that seals an immensely powerful beast away. <gasps> Excuse me. The World 3 scum want to use the Tetra Codes to awaken the beast. The beast? Do you mean that thing called... Alpha? Yes. 
I've not been informed about who exactly Alpha is. Only a select few officials know that information. However, one thing is for certain. If Alpha is awakened, the net society will be annihilated. So the World 3's hit the school, the zoo, the hospital, and now Scilab. That means they have all four Tetra Codes! <clears throat> yes, the net society is on the brink. But we have one last resort to put an end to World 3's threat. A last resort? Yes, the Forbidden Program. It can freeze Alpha. According to our sources, that program is in the Undernet. It's reported that a Navi named S is in possession of it. Let me guess, the officials want me to locate this guy S, get the Forbidden Program, and bring it back. Bring it back, right? If you know so much, why don't you just do it yourself, Chad? Proto Man are too well known as officials. The denizens of the Undernet despise us. You, however... Yeah, but isn't this the official's job? Sorry, Chad, but I can't help you out. Oi. Stupid chair. Well, it is a dangerous mission, but... That's not it. You really want to know? Fine, I'll tell you. You know how Scilab was sabotaged? It happened because I stupidly helped Match. I didn't realize it then, but I helped out the World 3. I don't have the right to take on a mission from the officials. Stop talking. If you tell me any more, I'll have to arrest you as an official. Chad... Land, go visit your father in the hospital. If you change your mind later, come, at the virus come to the virus lab at Scilab. About what you just told me, I never heard it. I owe you that much for what you did for me. <clears throat> Chad... Land, let's go see Dad. Okay. Well, realistically, no, they're not going to arrest a kid anyways for... Well, never know. There have been a lot of more moronic instances in the real world where people get arrested just because they're associated with something. Anyways, we're going to end this episode off here. Wow, I have quite a bit of Zenny. Oh, that'd go away pretty quickly if I started buying HP memories. But well, whatever. Anyways... We're going to end this episode off here for now, so as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time with some more Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 3. So until then, I'll see you later, guys.